Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Um, but today we are playing a single player game. Uh, this may look familiar, this is from the Beginner's Guide series, and that is because God Console has just come out. So, um, if you want to purchase the God Console, you can go into your Amber menu. I have already purchased it, um, so you will not see that show up on mine, but it does cost $14.99 in US dollars. Um, that may vary from place to place, and that may or may not have taxes on it depending on where you live. So the cost will vary, but um, in the US it should be about $14.99 um, pretty much anywhere you are. All right, so we are going to go ahead and take a look at the GOG console. Now, the way to access it is from the left-hand flow menu. So it's this uh, green, bright green lock and key symbol here, and it pulls up this menu. Um, I think this menu actually looks really cool. So you have a few options here. At the top, you can see you have all of these like resource items. So you can see I just clicked the silica pearls there, and it added a stack of 100 pearls. Um, and then the same with the thatch. Um, the fiber is 200, but that's because that's one full stack of fiber. Uh, sap is 20 sap. And gasoline, there we go, 100 gasoline, 100 polymer, 100 electronics. So essentially, whatever one full stack of those items is, um, that is what you are going to get. All right. Now, there are a lot of other cheats here that are going to be really interesting. Um, so I guess... We will just start off with invulnerable. Um, so I've turned on invulnerable, and I think what this means is that I can go and attack something, and I will not take any damage from it. So it's basically, basically like a god mode. Um, let's see if I can find anything dangerous to hit me. That would be nice. Is there anything dangerous at all in this game? Oh my goodness! The one time Ark decides to be nice to me, there is, ugh, all there is is dodos. Oh, a turtle. That'll work. Let's go hit the turtle, guys. Um, eh. So slow. Okay, let's hit this turtle. Alright, so it is pushing me around. It is hitting me, but it is not doing any damage whatsoever. Alright, so that's basically like a... Uh, an invincible mode. So you can still attack things. Um, you can still hit things. Um, but nothing is going to hurt you, which is kind of cool, um, especially for caves on single player. I would think if you are really struggling with a particular cave, um, this might be a good solution to get through it if you really needed to, or if you wanted to get into, um, like a dangerous area for like a cool screenshot, you could do that without too many issues. Um, and it looks like the creatures do leave you alone after a while as well. All right. So now I can re-access that GOG console by just tapping on the thing in the corner since that was the last thing I used. I'm going to go ahead and turn Invulnerable off and turn on this Super Stats. So I believe what Super Stats are, yeah, okay. So I had my food and water depleted a little bit. So Super Stats is basically infinite stats, which means none of your stats are going to drop, um, which should include water, yeah. My oxygen meter is not dropping at all. So that, that is awesome. Um, so that's essentially like a, a full, a full invulnerable mode. So you have, um, an option to just not take any health damage, or you can just have all of your meters be full all the time. If you don't want to worry about the, uh, survival aspects of the game, you can just turn that on. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those off. Now this one I have been super looking forward to, Fly. Um, yes, oh my goodness. So Fly is basically, you move exactly as if you're walking, but when you point the camera up, you move in that direction. And so I am actually right now um, floating in midair, which is kind of amazing. And I believe you actually do a running animation through the air, but um, I don't have a way to view that, unfortunately. Actually. I could probably go into third person. Yes. Yep, you run through the air, <laughs> which is kind of awesome. Um, and I think you can also do this on the back of a dyno. Uh, let's go ahead and go back into the god console and turn that off. There we go. 
So it just toggles on and off, as most of these do, which is pretty cool. So now I want to go, I'm going to hop on the trike and see if I can fly the trike, because I think that would be particularly amazing. Okay, um, let's go ahead and fly. Yeah, we have a flying trike, guys. Um, oh, that's so good. Oh, that makes me so happy. And I believe that you can also put on infinite stats for these creatures. So can I, there we go. Let's go ahead and put super stats on. Yes, and now we have unlimited stamina and a flying trike, which is just pretty amazing, honestly. This is this is why I like the uh, cheats, because you can do silly stuff like this. Um, man, if they ever release, when the Iguanodon comes to the game, because they are planning on releasing that, uh, we will have a flying Iguanodon. That'll be kind of like a fun thing to do on single player, I think. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn fly off and turn super stats off because I do believe it will stick to the creature and I don't want that to happen. Um, all right, let's go ahead and look at the, uh, it's not nighttime. So I'm gonna leave bright night off for now. Um, we also have infinite ammo. And so I believe what this does is allow you to shoot like as much as you want. Yeah, and I'm not using any arrows, as you can see. So essentially, all you have to do if you want to do um, like a lot of taming is make like a gun or a bow that you want to use and then use a trank arrow and equip the trank onto whatever item you're using. So trank darts or trank arrows. And then all you have to do is turn on infinite ammo and you have an unlimited number of narcotic arrows. So you only ever have to make like one narcotic arrow um, in the game if this is what you want to do and so That makes it pretty easy like you still have to craft narcotic um, To get there, but like taming shouldn't be too hard if you have that ability um, I think all right, so let's go ahead and go back to this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off All right, so now we're gonna move down the next set of things while it gets dark here one of those is level up self Okay, so it looks like it levels up just a set amount of experience um, that usually gets you to the next set of levels. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply those. That's cool. Now I wonder if when we're on a dino, it looks like we're leveling up the trike. Are we? Yes. Um, I'm gonna try this one more time to make sure that that's what's happening. Yes, okay, so we are leveling up the trike, and once we hop off here... Yeah, it's just the trike, it's not us. So we have been um, leveling up just the trike and not ourselves. So as long as you're on your tamed dino, um, that's an easy way to level it up. Um, oh, oh, it's changed. Okay, now it's a level up target. So you can also level up a dino by standing in front of it um, and looking at it. So let me, I'm going to change my view back. I'm very curious because I bet if you can level up a remote target, I bet that this is how you can level up wild dinos. Um, so I know a lot of people really don't like the low level dinos on the island. Um, and part of that is because they want a bigger challenge. And part of that is because they just want better dinos. So let's go ahead and see. Eh. Oh, yes, that is cool. Okay, so as long as you can get eyes on the dino, you can level it up. Whoop. Keeps walking away from me, but look at that. We've leveled it up to level 15. So as long as you have patience, guys, it looks like you can level these guys up. Um, I'm not sure if there is a limit to that. That would kind of defy the point of cheating, so... Yeah, you can definitely come out, find any dino you want on the island. As long as you can find it, um, you can point at it, level it up, and there you go. That is really cool. That is probably gonna be that is probably gonna be something I won't use very much unless it's for like a a silly episode. Um, but it would be really fun to do uh, if I was just doing like a regular, I don't know, kind of like a fun mess around type of game. Okay, uh, okay, back to the console. 
kill target. Okay, so apparently we need to find a target to kill. I already killed the dodo. Um, okay, I keep running away from these dodos, and I feel like I should kill them. Um, actually, let's go ahead and kill this dodo. I know it's mine. Can we... No? Apparently it doesn't work on your own dinos. That's good to know. All right. Um, but it should work on wild dinos then. Oh my gosh. Oh good, a Lystro. Here we go. I feel bad. I like Lystros. Oh. Oh, and then it changes to remove corpse. Oh, that's so handy. Okay, so you can like kill a lot of dinos in an area and then just remove the corpses without harvesting them if you want to. Um, I don't know why you would do that because the hide is really useful or the meat is really useful because um, I don't see any sort of meat or berry on the uh, resources menu up top so I think you'd probably want to harvest any dead bodies but you now have an easy way to kill things um, for example if you're in a cave heal all okay so when you click heal all you get this little tag that says all tames and structures healed so I guess what that means is that like everywhere on the island everything that you own goes back to like a hundred percent durability so like if I were to damage a wall um, which I don't think I can even do right now yeah I can't do it but maybe a wild dino could um, all you'd have to do is go into the console click heal all and then your structure would be back to new so that can present uh, prevent your structures from being damaged by uh, wild dinos too much. That is cool. All right. Um, ooh, speed. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so you have a few options with speed, but essentially... Um, oh, we're so fast now. So 400% speed basically moves everything in the game 400% faster. 25% obviously slows it down by a quarter, so you can either speed it up four times or slow it down up to four times. Now that is like super useful. I can see that being really, really handy in a number of situations. Um, I would probably mostly slow things down to get better screenshots, honestly. Uh, okay, now that it's nighttime, let's go ahead and... Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, this is what Ark has been missing on the official servers, is this bright night. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Look, you can see. It's dark and I can see. Oh my gosh, guys, this is my favorite thing. Um, when we start up a single player series on this, because I do plan to do that, I am definitely using this feature all the time. Um, I don't feel bad about that even a little bit, because... The night is too dark on these games. Like, I get it, it's a mechanic, it's supposed to be in the game, and I like playing that way normally, but it is so hard to see sometimes. And it's really bad for when I'm recording. I don't like that you guys can't always see what I'm doing. So now, now we will be able to see, and I actually think things look better at night now. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. The colors are really bright. Nope, I can't even do it. I'm gonna leave it on. <laughs> All right. Um... Okay, so I'm checking out um, the uh, the hide user inventory one now. So it comes up with this menu. So apparently you have to quick tap with two fingers on one side of the screen to re-enable the UI. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so now there's nothing on the inventory. That is excellent for a screenshot, honestly. Um... Oh, cool. Okay. And so all you have to do to turn it back on is just do the regular tap. Um, yeah, so if you just tap anywhere, if you do a two-finger tap anywhere on the screen, it's going to break that and um, bring you back into, like, a, a first-person mode. So I wonder, I wonder if there's a way... To go into third person, then turn on the god console, then hide the UI. Yes, okay, cool. Oh my gosh, that is super cool. That is super, super cool. I love that. So that is going to be really handy for screenshots. Um, and then you just obviously tap um, to change the view and to get out of it. Cool. My gosh, guys, I really like this god console. I think... 
So far, I think it's definitely worth the 100%, the 100%, I was reading something. Um, I think it's definitely worth the $15 that I had to pay to get it. Um, I think it's going to make the single player game a lot more fun, a lot more enjoyable, and a lot easier to manage because you can just speed up times on things that are going to take a long time. Um, Oh my gosh, there's just so many options now with things you can do. Um, and I think that's really great. Like, I think this God console is just absolutely incredible. Um, now there is one more button, the suicide button. Oh. <laughs> I feel like... Okay, I have a bed here. But I really feel like that maybe needs, um, a check menu. Like a little, are you sure you want to die? A little pop-up window like they have for the hide user inventory to hide the UI. Um, I think, yeah, I definitely think that that needs to be a thing. Oh no, what? How did I get a pursuit? Oh, that's why. Oh, that's obnoxious. Okay, I don't like that. Like, I get it that they don't allow, um, cheats during pursuits, but I don't like it. I really don't like it. Can I? Yes. Okay. So I do know um, from hearing what people have said that you have to complete like a certain number of pursuits to be able to um, even purchase the God console. So you have to get to a certain point in the game before you can buy this. Um, luckily, I've already done all of those. However, every time you start a pursuit, it looks like it locks the cheats down so you can't use them. Um, and I'm not sure I like that feature because that makes certain things like going into caves it means you can't cheat in caves at all which kind of defeats the purpose of cheats um if you ask me if you're going to be doing that um you should be able to use those cheats while you're doing certain pursuits anyway at least the cave ones i would think um yeah so all right guys uh i think that is everything in this god console that's basic overview of it. Um, I'm sure there are things I missed, but uh, if I did and you know about things, because this has been out for Android already for a week, iOS just got this today. So if you know of something that I missed um, about the details of this God console, please do feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And if you have any like helpful tips or tricks, um, I'd like to see those as well. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love the bright night. I'm just gonna like leave that on for now. Okay. So, uh, if you guys did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button. It seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.